Hey guys, uh, this is just a little elaboration on the um, on the voltage doubling circuit. Um, now, I, I did use the center tap and made this a dual power supply, but I've just gone back to the voltage doubler because we've only got 14 volts um, coming from this AC. And what if you needed, like, you know, 30 plus volts? What if you needed 35 volts from it? Is that possible? Well, yeah, I mean, it's. We can we can do the variable of course, so it's the voltage doubling circuit, not a problem, and then we just we chuck on a um, an LM three one seven. This one is an LM three one seven HV, which is the higher voltage. I think this one goes up to fifty volts. I'm not sure, but look, so I'll just chuck on a little thing down there. Look over there. We got the minimum. I mean, we can make that smaller. We can definitely make that smaller. We can just stick a um, stick a couple of diodes on the output. Yeah, uh, two diodes to do it on the output. Uh, this thing's 1.5 amps, so stick a couple of uh, I don't know, two amp, two amp, three amp diodes on there, and it will drop the voltage enough to bring that down to zero. If they're 0 0.7 each, you know, we're bringing that down to pretty much zero uh, if the forward voltage was 0.7 volts on the diodes so but basically now we've got a little voltage doubling circuit and we can turn this up and up we go so that's past what we get from the output of that little transformer we just keep going up that's 30 volts 35 6 and that's it that's it so we've got 36.6 volts of course we had to lose uh, a few volts across the uh, regulator there it's uh, probably the smallest most basic little circuit now really you know, in all fairness, to actually use this circuit, you you, know, you wouldn't be able to, I don't think, for a lot of things. You want some capacitors, you might even want to stick a diode going from the output of this to the input, just to make sure anything that comes back from that capacitor doesn't try and kick in the doors of the output. Um, just gives it a little circuit back round. Which, yeah, yeah just elaborating on the, uh, on that little, uh, it's not the dual supply, was it? No, it's the, the voltage doubling circuit. I had to build something quite similar for a power supply for this thing here because I didn't have one that would work. So I had to build a little voltage doubling circuit for that and then regulate it. And <clears throat> but it just gave me enough power to get it to work. So uh, just a quick, just to show you what actually happens when you put a bit of a load on it. Now it's just this fan. Uh, this fan is set to I think it's like 11 and a half volts on that little buck converter on the top there So we're going to expect that to use a little bit of the, uh, the voltage we're going to expect the um, The LM317 I must have the HV to that Because it's a bit of a special LM317 um, I'm actually going to get the uh, Complementary with the HV side of that for the negative side. Zoom here, the power supply with it. So, right, so what we got then is, uh, what if I just slap that down there? Okay, so a little fan's on the go, it's pumping up quite well. But the highest we can go up with this now is 24.5, 20 point. There you go, where well, you get to see the highest we can go up with it. But the fan doesn't die because like I said it's got that buck converter and that regulates that down to 11.5 uh, 11 volts yeah another simple circuit that you can get twice the power and use it variably from a little tiny transformer it's not going to do a lot but it's um, it's a worker Cheers for watching guys, bye.